second one. Let's just do the second one. I mean, it's the same type of thing. Got 3x minus 5 goes into negative 9x cubed plus 30x squared minus 40x plus 39. <clears throat> so, when you do long division, you're trying to multiply the binomial here, or what's ever outside there, it could be a trinomial, right? You multiply this times something to give you that first term in your list, right? So here I've got a 3x, and I need to get a negative 9x cubed. So to get the negative, this is positive, so I have to have a negative. To get the 9, 3, 3 times 3 is 9. To get the x cubed, I have an x already, so I would need an x squared. So all I'm worried about is the first term. But then I have to distribute it to both of them. So I distribute it to both of them. Negative 9x cubed. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. And I've got an x squared there. Now, now I draw my line, change my sign. Draw my line, change my signs. And when I change my signs, I want to make sure of what I'm doing, so I kind of make it kind of heavy on the change my signs. <clears throat> First term goes away like it's supposed to. 30 minus 15 is 15x squared. Bring down the next term. And I say, okay, first into first again. So I say 3x into 15x squared. 3 times 5, 15. I have an x. I need to get an x squared, so I have to have an x. So 5x times 3x, 15x squared. 5x times negative 5, negative 25x. Draw my line, change my sign. And then I add. So the x squared term goes away, and I'm left with negative 15x plus 39. I say, OK, first into first. Three x into fifteen. I have to get the negative, so it's a negative five. Negative five times three is negative fifteen. I already have my x, so I don't need any x's with that negative five. Negative five times three x is negative fifteen x. Negative five times negative five is positive twenty-five. Draw my line, change my signs. The x's go away. I'm left with fourteen. When I have a remainder, I then write my remainder over whatever I was dividing by. 